and all the way to. Welcome to this comparison video between the 2018 Mac Mini and the 2019 Retina 5K iMac. These machines are very similar and very different in many, many ways. In terms of similarities, they both have a very similar port layout. They have four Thunderbolt ports, they have two USB-A ports, they have gigabit Ethernet. The Mac Mini offers 10 gig as a bonus, which the iMac does not. But the iMac has an SD card reader, which the Mac Mini does not. Not by default, anyway. Also, the Retina iMac 5K on the right has Radeon 570X 4GB graphics, and the Mac Mini only has UHD 630. But uh, they don't have the same SSD, 256GB of PCI Express, and uh, they have ba basically the same processor, a 6-core Core, Core i5 3GHz processor in the Mac Mini. It's the 8500B, which is a special lower power version specifically made for the Mac Mini. And the Retina 5K iMac has a regular Core i5-8500. So yeah, that is basically a small hardware overview of these machines. What we'll do today is we'll fit them head-to-head -head so we can see the difference between the CPUs and of course the cooling solutions. Obviously the Mac Mini is probably going to throttle because it is a very small enclosure and the iMac has way more space to vent its air. And obviously the iMac is probably going to win graphically, but still I promised to make this video somewhere early uh, this year or late last year, so it is well overdue, I suppose. So, uh, you yeah. know, let's just get right to it and uh, start with a Geekbench run. Hold on to your horses. Ready, set, go. I'll let these beasts run. Again, these are both 3 GHz Core i5 CPUs, so one is a Core i5-8500B and the other one is a regular 8500. They're both 65 watts TDP CPUs. They both have pretty much the same turbo speeds. They both go up to 4.1 GHz on a single core. But again, the Mac Mini has, uh, I, sh I should say, insufficient cooling for a CPU of this caliber. Definitely the i7 model is very, very prone to throttling really, really bad. And Final Cut is not going all that well in terms of temperatures on it, I can tell you that much. Uh, I'm not quite sure about the iMac. It's not my machine, so, you know, but it's still fun to just finally see them head to head. Because they are very similar and yet very, very different. So let's let this benchmark run and then we'll get back to the results. So far they're going head to head pretty well and the Mac Mini actually isn't throttling at all it's just sitting around a 60 degree mark so so far so good all right the results are in the iMac finished just a little bit uh, sooner as we can see they're very similar in terms of score the Mac Mini scored bang on 1000 on a single core the iMac did 1033 the Mac Mini scored just under 5000 multi-core and the iMac scored just over 5000 one thing to note here is that the Mac Mini is running 2400 MHz memory, 16 gigabytes of it, and the Retina iMac here is running 2666 memory. There might be just a little bit of difference uh, in there, but it's probably not all that much. But it could explain the difference here in terms of CPU. I did not see the Mac Mini throttle at all. The highest I've seen one core hit was 92 degrees. I always monitor my Mac Mini closely with uh, max fan speed. and. Uh, haven't seen it hit 100 degrees at all, so it should be okay. So yeah, that's basically Geekbench out of the way. Let's take another look at uh, Blackmagic Disk Speed Test. I'll set it up on the iMac here. And on the Mac Mini as well. Let's see where I have it. Over there, and over there. I haven't opened it yet on the iMac, it's a little fresh. Okay. Uh, let's go. Wow, the Mac Mini is actually in the lead here. It is significantly faster at the moment. Especially the reads, they're up to 2700 megabytes per second. Writes hovering between 1350 and 1500. And the iMac is around 1250 on the writes and about 
just under 2,500 in terms of reads. So Geekbench was a win for the iMac, but uh, like Magic Speed Test is definitely a win for the Mac Mini. Wasn't expecting that. I was pretty certain that these SSDs would be very similar. Obviously, we didn't spec the iMac with a uh, Fusion drive. That would just be painfully slow. It's just, it's absolutely insane that you can get a machine way over two grand that still has a uh, spinning hard drive. We don't want spinning rust in two grand machines. Come on, Apple. Do it right this time around. So, now let's go for an obvious loss for the Mac Mini here and do a graphical benchmark. I'm not going to do the Geekbench Compute because, you know, we know how this is going to end. Let's close all that. Go for Yunjin Valley. I've decided against heaven this time around. Because I think Valley is better to look at. It is literally the only reason. We'll both go for the same settings. We'll go for extreme. Let's see, where should we go? Now we should go custom so you can get everything set up. It's of course running OpenGL. We'll go for high quality, so at least give it one small chance. We'll disable anti-aliasing. And we'll go for 1080p resolution. We'll do the same on the iMac. Custom preset. High detail, no AA. At 1920 by 1080. All right. We'll both make them go full screen. Obviously, it'll look worse on the Retina display because it is obviously a bit. Uh... Oh, that's loud actually. But yeah, you can tell the chop that's going on on the Mac Mini. The iMac at the moment is at 75 FPS, and the Mac Mini is at 15. So yeah. We'll start the benchmark mode and just let it run for a bit.
results are in. As we can probably see here, give it a little bit of a zoom here so you can see the numbers better. Our Magmini scored 12.6 FPS average, <laughs> and uh, the iMac 5K did 62.6. It's uh, five times as fast. Anyways, I guess this concludes our little fun experiment here comparing the iMac 5K to the Mac Mini 2018. I hope you enjoyed this video. I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.